Hey everyone, welcome to the first drawing tutorial. This tutorial is all about using the basic drawing instruments. As we move through the syllabus, I'll spend more time on using certain instruments and making you familiar with them. So let's get started. Most important of all is our drawing board. There are two rulers which are on the horizontal and vertical. This may help us to measure distances. Next, there are clips which can be opened to place a paper in and then closed. This secures your paper and enables you to draw without the paper moving. You can also rotate your paper vertically and secure it in this way. The second most important instrument is the sliding ruler. You can slide it by pressing the button down on the left and secure it by pressing down the button on the right. To demonstrate, draw two horizontal lines separated by two centimeters. Now, draw two vertical lines separated by two centimeters. You can do this by simply securing your ruler vertically. Slide your set square to the position to draw in your angled line. The compass is an important instrument to draw circles, ellipses and other curved surfaces. To draw a circle that is 50 millimeters in diameter, for example, place your compass on a ruler and measure the radius, 25 millimeters in this case. Now place the sharpen down for your center point and use it as an anchor as you rotate the compass and draw the circle. Don't worry if it's a little untidy, you can use your erasing shield to erase any smudges that you made. Place it down and erase away using the pattern that fits. French curves are useful to use when joining together points comprising a curve, especially in isometric drawing, but we'll touch on this later. Protractors can be used to measure any angle that you wouldn't otherwise be able to achieve with your set squares. Place the protractor's zero point on your reference line and measure from zero to the desired angle. Let's say 120 degrees in this case. You can use clutch or wooden pencils. It's up to you. Just ensure that they're always sharp. Use lighter pencils like H, 2H or 3H to draw construction lines and HB pencils for solid lines. Circular stencils and isometric circular stencils are useful for helping you draw circles really fast. However, the specific size of the circle that you want to draw has to be available on the stencil, else you can't use it. But then you have your compass, no problem. If you guys have any queries, please ask me at the next lecture or tutorial session. Otherwise, happy drawing!